talk to you so often during the season, Molly. You're covering the, the Cincinnati part of the game uh, for for the game tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> tell us what it's like hanging out with the Bearcats. Um, it's been fun. It's been really interesting covering this David versus Goliath narrative that everyone's talking about and the players are hearing all about it. Desmond Ritter took his offensive line to dinner last week before coming out here and he addressed those David versus Goliath narratives that people are talking when about. When people do that, do they realize how that story ended up? What, the David versus yeah. Goliath? Well, I know. Why is everyone <laughs> Why is everyone comparing this? If that's the case, maybe this will be a better game than people realize. I have to be a, a th theology professor, but, I, but I, Desmond, check it out. Yeah, exactly. That's something to motivate them. But, but he brought it up to his offensive line, though, basically to say no one believes in us. Everyone thinks Alabama is going to kill us in this game. But I believe in us. I trust you guys. And I need you to trust me and know that I'm going to do everything that I can to win this game. And that's going to be the X factor is Desmond Ritter. Is he going to be on in this game? And it's been interesting. I hung out with Luke Fickle earlier today, uh, just saw him. And he was pretty tight and nervous and said that he just wants to get to game time. Sure. But he said in comparison, his players are a lot calmer than he is because he's done a really good job this week of balancing preparation and having fun, having his players go to some events. You, Alabama's not doing any of that, you know, which there are two different sides and two different approaches that these teams are taking. But Luke Fickle doesn't want his team to be too tight, too wound up, nervous for this one. How did Cincinnati players and coaches react to uh, Will Anderson's comment about being disrespected and the underdog in this game? I mean, they said that they can think that if they want to think that. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, this is something that's interesting because this Cincinnati team really relishes that underdog role. Right. And this is the first game all year, Paul, that Cincinnati has been an underdog. They've been right. favored in every single game. Even Notre game. Dame. Even Notre wow. Dame, they're a two and a half point favorite. So they're favored for the first, or they're underdogs for the first time this year and Luke Fickle said he's actually more comfortable with that his team is more comfortable with that and Desmond Ritter told me I've been an underdog my entire life only one FBS offer out of high school so you know it's fitting that in the biggest game of his college career he's an underdog yet again in, in being around them and obviously knowing the, the backstory uh, I, I'm, I'm curious how they're viewing Alabama because Alabama fans that's mm -hmm. what I mainly do here yeah. They, they do not respect Cincinnati. They, they don't care what they've done this year. They're just another tackling dummy on the way to the national championship. Right. So what players would say to those people is watch the tape. I spoke with wide receiver Alec Pierce. He's pretty feisty. He's the kind of guy who uh, Nick Saban called him uh, a power forward going up for a rebound. He's the kind of guy who makes the biggest plays in the biggest moments. So he's going to be an X factor in this game. And I told him, I said, what do you think about people saying David versus Goliath, that you guys are a Cinderella disrespecting you? He said, those people need to watch more tape. Wow. So I think that he, he, he sees <laughs> those things and thinks uh, that it's an uneducated opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, got to put your money where your mouth is. Have to see it on the field. And I, I, know, I'm, I, I keep – every time Cincinnati comes up, I remember the end of the Peach Bowl last year. And yeah. I, that's not fair. It, it was – well, it, it was on Janu January 1st or New Year's Eve. I can't remember when it was. But still – uh, there is, to me, it's so much at stake for this program. Uh, not that they're representing anyone other than Cincinnati, but it feels like they're they're holding up a lot of people. Well, it's embarrassing when teams come into these semifinals and get absolutely blown out by teams by Alabama, right? So Cincinnati doesn't want that. And I do think it's fair to look at that Peach Bowl game because that Peach Bowl game was the biggest stage that Cincinnati had been on to that point. Right. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Bulldogs. It was a close loss. And all of the veterans, they have 32 seniors on the Cincinnati team. That's the biggest thing that they have going for them is that veteran experience. A lot of the guys met together in the offseason and said, we don't like the way that that Georgia game ended. That was our opportunity on a big stage to prove ourselves. We need to come back and do something different. So they're motivated. They have that game on their minds, especially when they walk out on that field. They're going to be thinking about that game. Yeah, and it, I mean, it was a big stage, uh, but this is bigger. It, it was a prelude to, the, to I think, the Cotton Bowl last year. Uh, th this is a big stage. It's hard to get any bigger, and and I, th I think it will be fascinating. I, I, you, I'm curious, before we wrap up here, Molly, Molly McGrath with us, uh, you know, in terms of pressure, it, 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 they've already had the pressure. It, it's just, um, this is, there's no free ticket against Alabama, but it seems like the pressure is on, on the other side. Yeah, I think uh, some of the players I spoke with said it perfectly. We have nothing to lose. Yeah. We earned our way here. 
we have proved that we belong. We are the number four team in the country. And um, I think they're going to approach this game like they have nothing to lose. And Luke Fickle said that he's going to be really aggressive in this game. He said to take down the champs. He kind of turned back into his old wrestling self. He said to take down the champs, you have to attack the champs. You have to fight them all day long. You have to be aggressive. So I think they're going to be aggressive on offense. They're going to take some shots early. You see them going for it on fourth down, especially because their kicking situation is a little suspect. And defensively, I think you're going to see them pressure Bryce Young early on just to show that they belong. I think they want to take it to the champs to prove that they belong on this stage. This is a football game that we're covering here, not... Not a title bout no. or something like that, yeah. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm sure they've had a few uh, in this edifice. Uh, Molly, so great to see you. Uh, it, I can't wait to uh, see the game, and, and I know you're excited. You've done a lot of these big games, but uh, a win by Cincinnati would, would be... Uh, I think it would be one of the biggest wins of all time. It would be historic. It would be historic not just for Cincinnati, but I think for all of college football, and it would change the landscape of, of the Blue Bloods and who's in charge. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.